Hello and welcome to Doom Pedro Gaming. Today I'm playing, oh, Minecraft. And I'm doing the Let's Build of Hogwarts after like a million years of not actually doing it. More or less, like three months. Today I'm joined by Snoop. Hello. Uh, as, tonight, as this week's special guest. So uh, it's going to change a little bit. Uh, every week there's going to be a new guest. So this week we've got Snoop. Next week I think is possibly Rokino. Uh, people who we play WoW with in uh, every day. That's yeah, next, uh, time. <laughs> next week was Starsky and um, Rokino, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, um, last time uh, we built the boat house. As you can see there. And it's a lot of boats. Very much much boat. <laughs> intense boat. It's very intense boats. I mean, some of them are flooding. That's pretty intense. It's too intense for me. I can't even look at them. Oh. Yeah, but do you like the boathouse? Very boaty. I do like the boathouse. Um. I'm obviously using a Hogwarts texture pack, so uh, you're not really appreciating the boathouse yet. Okay, all right. I, I will download the extra pack. Um, can, you, can you let me know what it's called? I'm it's called it. Hogwarts 1.8 version 4. So if you find that, then you can truly, truly appreciate this build. It makes sandstone look a lot nicer. What was it again? Like, the, the numbers and stuff? It is Hogwarts 1.8 v4. Thank you. No problem. Right, so I should probably get started again, which requires getting up my pictures of Hogwarts, which I took on my phone. Because you may not know this, but prior to this build, I went to the Harry Potter Studios in London and took lots of pictures of Hogwarts. Oh, so you have the pictures on your uh, phone? I do have the pictures on my phone. Not only will I be building outside of Hogwarts, I will be building inside of Hogwarts. So this is going to be a long build. <laughs> With many guests. Ha! Found it. Okay, so I built the boathouse last time. Um, now I need to... Didn't really get a good angle of this thing. Got okay. All right, I've got this. I hope. Okay. Okay. Right. Getting ready now. This is, this is I will. Happen. I'll help you build it. I will uh, add details and stuff. Because I don't want to feel completely useless, you know. <laughs> ah, but at the end, I get to see what you've built. True. Put my phone somewhere where I can see it. That'll do. Okay, so it goes up here, back, it curves around, it goes along here, then it goes to a mini tower, which should be about here. So I think I'll start building the mini tower. And this will be next to the great hall. So Snoop, what do you think you're going to build? I might just build some other Harry Potter canon stuff, you know? Sure, that sounds good. So, um, like I can keep it keep the theme going. Excellent. Any kind of idea? I do, but I do have a good idea, actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which you're not going to hear until oh. uh, it's finished. Damn. Okay, so it's a bit of a surprise yeah. then. Which is it's pretty good. I like surprises. But I, I like to hear details too as it's being built. It's like... Oh uh, yeah, the roof is going to be... I love the details. Right, okay. trying to fly away and find a good place to build it. Okay, uh, last time I had uh, my friend Becca on, uh, so you may encounter her house, which is to the 
that way <laughs> somewhere. It's underground, so may not be that okay, obvious. Okay, we'll travel to the that way. To to that way. <laughs> to the that way, yeah. To that way. So hopefully today I'm I want to get the great hall done and finish off these stairs. I think that's probably possibly doable in like an hour and a half. Probably. Maybe. A little bit. Just maybe. <laughs> well, that, that's the game for today. Nothing like, oh, I'm going to get the whole thing done now. No. I mean, if it was me, like, I don't mean to brag, but if it was me, I would get the whole thing finished in about half an hour, but... Like, really? You know? Just all of yeah, Hogwarts. Um, all of Hogwarts, yeah. yeah. At a uh, one-for-one scale as well. Um, Shit. Well, did you know, since I last recorded this, I have built a Hogwarts cake. Yep, that's right, a cake um, in like a miniature scale of Hogwarts. Like IRL. Like IRL. Damn. Yeah, take that. So I, uh, I know where the buildings go. Do you have any sort of like history in cake making? Is it like a professional cake or anything? No, it was my first time making like a big cake like that on my own. It was for my 21st birthday. So I was like, okay, it's a Harry Potter themed birthday party. So I've got to have a Hogwarts cake, obviously. Oh, nice. And that's how it went. I had a Hogwarts cake, which was actually red velvet. A red velvet cake with lots and lots of icing. I've still got some of the icing in my fridge. It's there to this day, and I made this weeks ago. Since I have no idea how to wield it, um, it's not installed. Gonna... Oh right, okay. <laughs> not the moment. Right, so um, I'm gonna go and find the place that matches the description of the place that I'm actually going to be building. Oh yeah, a mysterious so place. So it might be like slightly far away from the actual Hogwarts itself, and uh, not be canon. If that's okay. Oh okay, Th that'll do. Right. I'll let you off this once. Well, it does appear to be going dark. Just stare. Uh, nope. I need to slash. Time set. Day. There we go. They ignore the fact I just set the completely opposite time. That's fine. <laughs> Just as you do, casually. Yeah, I just made it night time, just before you uh, made it daytime. Even though it was already night time. I see. Well, do you want to tell the lovely viewers about your blooming uh, trade in World of Warcraft? Well, um, basically, uh, as you might have already guessed, I'm from uh, the World of Warcraft guild with Sarah. Uh, and in this guild, I have a part. As uh, ba basically, what I do is um, I sell uh, fully legal substances. Uh, maybe in some other places they might not be so fully legal, but uh, where I come from, where I come from, they are um, completely legal, and uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, basically, what these substances do is uh, they make you uh, satisfied, and um, I sell them for offers, depending on how much you want. And uh, what what this is for is to build up the general morale of the guild to make sure we're all at the top of our game uh, when we go into a full naked uh, fishing pole PvP. Hmm. Very good. Uh, how do you acquire these substances? Uh, well, unfortunately that is uh, classified information. Oh. Well, yeah. is there any sort of process to making these substances then? Well, uh, 
basically what we do is uh we heard multiple elephants. Okay. And uh once we obtain the substance in its raw format we um basically put a put it in a giant really really giant bowl made of bone right and uh, <laughs> we fill the bowl with elephants and then uh, um, basically we set the elephants on fire oh okay so then the elephants get really excited because obviously all elephants really love being on fire yeah of course of and course. um they basically run back and forth all over the raw substance and uh, make it not so raw anymore. <laughs>